What is up, guys? Re Sorry, guys, channeling my inner Mr. Cacus for this raid video. Hi, guys, my name is Live Mondo, and this is how to get all the raid chests in the game solo. So that's two in Deep Stone, two in Last Wish, and two in Garden of Salvation. So we are going to be starting with the Deep Stone Crypt because Spars of Conquest are still really, really good to get for some of the weapons that you can actually acquire from having them. Last Wish, it was close because with Shattered Throne and the Rocket Buff coming next season and, and what you can actually get from those chests, it's, it was a tight call for which one is actually more fruitful to do. But I've left Garden until last because... Unless you've ever beat the raid, all you're going to get is mods from it. If you've beat it, you can get random rolls of what you've had. Same as you can get from Deep Stone, you can get random rolls of everything. Weapons that you've earned from the raid. Uh, and But the last wish gives you... It just gives you everything up front. So if you do enjoy this video, leave a like. Any comments would be welcome. And if you think other people would benefit from it, a share would be awesome. So, Deep Stone Crypt. As soon as you come in, you're going to spawn at this area. There's going to be some ads... Clear the ads and that tunnel will open and we'll make our way to where we're going to perform the glitch, the, the whatever you want to call it. Now we used to do it inside the, the healing aura and now we're going to do it from in the doorway. So basically spawn up, uh, spiral up to the doorway, go inside the doorway and then what you want to do is face your spiral this way. When the doorway opens, like push the spiral, drive the spiral just outside the door and then jump back off inside the door. When the doorway opens again, jump on the spiral from inside the doorway. Voila, you are now immune from the cold. You, it doesn't tell you you've got shelter from the storm all the time, but you do have it. And then just follow the route I'm going to take to the first chest. So as I say, you will get 10 spoils of conquest from each chest. So because the warlock can't get the second one, that's 50 that you have available. Now what you need for this is, I'm doing it on the titan first... You need Middle Tree Missile, a Code of the Missile, Middle Tree Striker, and you're going to need Salvation's Grip. And as a kind of side thing, I would suggest having, like I have, 100% Intellect, because you're going to need to regenerate your super for the second part. So you're going to use your super, and then you're going to need to regenerate it. So, just follow the route I'm, you can see on the screen, and that will take you to the first chest. Now, I'm not going to show the jumping part, of the hunter because it's 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 roughly exactly the same as the titan and i knew this was going to be a longish video i will put timestamps in the comments so you can go straight to the raid that you're looking for but the hunter basically does it the same way as the titan literally when you do the thing and jump off the thing and jump out of the thing instead of going to where the titan's going to go you're going to jump on top of where you've just come out of that's the only difference for the second chest. So as you can see, there is the first chest. I've I've already had it. Uh, and now we're going to make our way to the second chest. So so the way to set yourself up for this is, you obviously want, as you can see, I've got Salvation's Grip on. It's, it's fine. You can change here. You can make sure you've got the right subclasses on. So if you're on your Titan, at this point, you're going to want to put Code of the Missile. It's Middle Tree Striker on. You want to have Salvation's Grip on as well. Titan, the Hunter, you're going to want stasis with salvation's grip and um, basically now we're just going to spiral down to crip security which is the first encounter and you're going to want to take your spiral into crip security with you because the spiral is how we're going to get out of bounds which is what you need to do to get this second chest literally we're just gonna it's, it's a really old exploit we used to do it but in destiny one we used to do it in the vault of glass raid it's a way that you could get through the doorway without having to actually do the first encounter you parked your spiral right up against the entrance at a certain point and then dismounted your spiral and it would put you straight through the door it's roughly the same way here except you wouldn't expect that it would put you through this doorway so Spoiler, spoiler, spoiler. I would be very surprised if this did not get patched. It seems like a really easy way to patch this, but I'm sure we'll find another way to do it once they do it. It's like the Telesto. This is never going to go away. So, spiral in, jump off your spiral, rally a flag real quick and get back on your spiral. If you lose your spiral because it, it took you too long, just go back outside, get the spiral and come back in and perform this little kind of maneuver now we're going to park in this kind of open doorway 
going right against the left hand side with, with the front of a spiral poking out and then we're going to dismount which will put us through the wall. Now the Titan can jump over here no problem, the Hunter will jump up on top of the structure that we jumped through and then follow this route. So it's, the only difference is where the Hunter is actually going to land. Now if if you fail and you die and you come back in, just go and get your spiral and do it again. It's fine. There's no, you're not gonna, you're not gonna lose any, any kind of progress from not doing it first time. And then just head down here. You want, you want to load in the next section. So there's two, 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 uh, two loading zones you want. You want clarity control here, and then we're gonna go for rapture. Now the hunter does this slightly differently, although I have done this on the hunter many times, doing exactly the way I'm doing it on the titan. But you can use the structures right and left. You don't really have to touch much of the pipe but these kind of little bits here these joins in the pipe they you can land on those and and mantle them which will give you your bush jump back where i'm shooting now is where we're going to be heading we're going to jump over this white wall on the on the hunter you might want to jump up on the white wall and then jump in here this is an open doorway and you can just walk back in now we're going to load up rapture and then we're going to go to the place that we're going to go through the, the walls to get the second chest this second chest exploit works 100%. This isn't a where you've got to try and find where to shoot and how to do it. This works 100% of the time. Now, if you're on a PS4 and an Xbox One, you might have a, a few issues because of frame rate, but the new Xboxes, new PlayStations and PC, this will work every time. So what you're going to want to do, I'll show you what I'm using just so that you guys know. The stasis setup it kind of speaks for itself. You just want stasis on the hunter. But on the Titan, as you can see, I've got grenade launcher reserves. I've got a 100% uh, intellect and a middle tree striker. That is the code of the missile. So what you're going to want to do is put yourself into the corner of the doorway. And then you want to have your salvation script aimed as low as you can get it. Which, and it'll probably look like I'm aiming it at my foot. I'm not aiming it at my foot. I'm aiming it at this line in the in, on the floor. So right into the corner and get this line as far down as you can aim and don't charge the shot, just fire. And the same as divot in the, in the, on the doorway, aim for the right hand side of it and fire and then pop your super and hold back. That is it. And what we've got to do here is now we've got to wait for our super to regenerate, hence the 100% intellect. Once our super is regenerated, we're going to do exactly the same thing. So into the corner, right in so you can't move any more to the right. Aim as far down as you can and hit that line and then hit that right hand side of that divot. Pop your super back, holding back and you're through the door. That works 100% of the time. Let me tell you guys, I've tested it a number of times, and it does. It works every time. And that's how you get the second chest on the Titan. Once I show you where the chest is, there will be some people that might not actually know where it is. So I'm going to show you the exact location of the second chest. I'm going to show you how I get through the door on the Hunter, just so that you, you guys know that it's exactly the same. And and that is it. I mean, the, the, if you haven't got the Anarchy, this is a great way to get the Anarchy. So if you've got three characters, this is 50 spoils of conquest per week. If you were doing the, if you were doing this exploit beforehand and then when they patched it, you stopped, you might already have spoils of conquest. And for people that aren't reading on every character each week, this is a great way to get spoils of conquest to maybe get random rolls from the final chest. So it's a win-win. It's a really good way to just get some cheap loot and, and you know, if you're doing, as I say, if you're beating the raid on each character, then why would you be looking at this video? <laughs> if you're, this is for people that are like, I want an anarchy. I want Acreus. I want the Taraba, or the Terrible, as I've always called it. Uh, I want the Spiral, you know. So that is the second chest. And as you can see, if you've ever beat the raid, you will get random rolled weapons. Anything you've earned from the raid can drop with random rolls from these chests. So now, the Hunter. So the hunter's going to use stasis, and it's going to be exactly the same. Right into the corner, so you can't move any more to the right. Aim down and hit that line, and then this kind of little divot in the door. Aim for the right-hand side. Don't charge the shot, and then 
super you make sure you're holding back when you pop the super that is the most important thing and again 100 percent intellect get your super again do the exact same thing and that is how you get the two chests on you can get the first chest on every character but that's how you get the second chest on the hunter and the titan in the dsc next up we're going to look at how you can get the last wish chests uh on the first one you can get on all characters and again the second one you can only get on solo on the titan and the wallop next up we have the last wish raid now these chests were actually the inspiration behind this video spoils of spoils of conquest are good but that's been done quite a few times this is going to be really really desirable i think come next season because obviously the armor is cut drops at 1410 and you can get some spicy rolls but some of the weapons are really really good and the rocket launcher you can get from here with cluster auto load and holster and impact case and it's a bad boy you're gonna want that next season that 30 30 percent buff on rocket launchers woof it's gonna be the weapon a lot of people are gonna be using and if not they should be using it so i'm going to show you how to get the chests on all the first chest on all three characters as i've already said the hunter cannot get the second chest solo but i'm going to i'm going to show you how you can bypass that if you've got a buddy that will help you with the checkpoint so follow the route that i'm taking and this will take you to the wall of wishes now the, the wall of wishes it's basically a wall of circles. They're like many screens, and you have to shoot them in order to get the symbol that you need. The right combination of symbols will give you a give you a port uh, a pathway to a certain checkpoint. I'm going to show you the Shiro Chi checkpoint and the Morgoth checkpoint. We're going to do Shiro Chi first. Now, as you can see, I've got I've got a, a, an auto rifle on. I do not use explosive rounds on this wall because it will affect all the circles around it. So as you can see there, there's your wall of wishes and you have to input a certain wish. This picture is the wish for Shiro Chi. So screenshot it, pause it, do whatever you like. That is what you need to have on. And then once you've made, once you've got all those symbols correct, check them, step on the center circle and you'll be teleported to this checkpoint. All three characters can do this checkpoint. It's exactly the same for all characters. So I'm just, again, for people that may not know how to get these, I'm going to show you exact, the exact path on how to get to the chest. Now the next one, you're going to need a sword. Hunter and what Titan and Warlock can do this. The next chest, you're going to need a sword. You're going to need decent mobility, although you, you don't need crazy mobility. Warlock's going to be on top tree Dawnblade. And the Titan, can I, I, I do the Titan on Coding the Missile, but Lion Rampants with a sword. You're going to be sword flying with the Titan. It's, Titan can do the jumps, can jump crazy distances with a sword really easily. And I'm going to show you how to do that. So this is where the, the chest is for Shiro Chi. You just drop down here. Or as I say, all characters can do it. And you don't get spoils of conquest from these chests, but you will get weapons and armor. So that's that first chest so the second chest this is when you get to the wall of wishes this is the the wish you want to input this will take you to morgoth so once you do that step on the the platform and you will spawn in here so as you can see we're on top tree dawn blade i have a sword so what we're going to do is we're going to swallow our grenade and get the rising flames which gives us a massive massive boost jump so there we go and we just boost away you can see their heat rises and what i'm doing is i'm once we get almost to the end i'm going to pop my super and i'm spamming so on a playstation it will be circle like red on the xbox it will be b which is red and whatever whatever that button is for pc whatever you've got your binding set to just spam it to keep getting that icarus dash that you get within your super and then just boost so that you don't die from fall damage. Although, you can just block with your sword if you're above it and you won't get any fall damage. Now, if you're doing this solo, once you get here, you're right at the chest practically. So I'm going to take you to the chest. Then I'm going to show you where to go if you've got friends that you want to get the checkpoint with. And this is how hunters can get this chest as well. So this is how you get to the, the, the actual chest from where you jump in. Now... If you've got buddies and you're going to be doing this together, I would suggest not coming to get this chest first because the chest has a limited lifespan. 
So you want to both be here to get it together. So you can either go all the way back the way you came, or you can just drop down from the chest this way. Now I'm going to show you, because you're going to have to come back up here, and you can't make that jump up there. You're going to have to go up these set of stairs to your left. You're going to have to go all the way up those set of stairs, all the way up here. I'm going to take you all the way up here. Now, this is where you would go after your buddies have come in. I'm just showing you the, the route to get back up to where you need to go for the chest. Where you need to go for the chest when you've come up those sets of stairs is round to the left. Not up here. This is where you come in. You need to go round to the left when you come up the stairs. And then that's where the tree is and you jump up on the tree. So when you make this jump and you land here, this is where we landed the first time. We went straight to the chest the first time, which is right in front of us. We're going to now go back down the stairs. The chest is round to the right, but we're going to go back down the stairs. And we've got to load in another zone. All right. If you don't load this zone in and people come and join you, they will join up at Morgoth. And especially if they're on the Hunter, they won't be able to make the jump. So up these stairs. And then we're going to, as I say, you just do the reverse. When, you're, when, when your buddies have come in or whatever... Uh, just do the reverse on this. Jump on that tree right in front of us. Jump up on that uh, balcony and then head up the stairs to the right. Just follow the route backwards. But you need to come over here if people are joining you. You need to load in the first spire and wait here for them to join you and they will join you down here. Every time you're switching characters, because you can do this, you can just constantly switch characters. Uh, make sure the person that's staying here for people to join on is in the first spire. This is how to do the Titan jump. Now the Titan can do the jump. This was the way everybody used to do it to start with. Because the Titan can jump really far. Really easily. So I actually do it a little bit differently. Just to make it interesting. Uh, I've got uh, line rampants on. A sword. And I've got a uh, catapult jump. Which is important. So basically what you're doing is. Short boost as you can see. And then sword Short boost, leave it a, a, a second and sword. The line rampants re keep or constantly keep recharging your boost. Then when I get pretty close, I fire code the missile. It just speeds up me getting across and then just boost and land. But the line rampants will constantly keep recharging your boost jump. And that is how you do the last wish chests. Next up, Garden of Salvation. Last up, we have Garden of Salvation, which for me is the the least fruitful of all the raids because you can only drop armor from here and you have to actually have earned the armor from these chests. But because this is all raid chests, I had to cover this as well. So I, if you beat the raid, if you haven't, you will still get mods which will help you beat the raid. So when, when, you, when you actually come in, when you load in, you're going to have an area you've got to clear ads from in a massive portal. And then the port, once you go through the portal, it will bring you here. So if you follow this, exactly where I'm jumping here, you jump across that big opening and then up the side here, right up on top of to this ledge. Now that there's like a structure in front of you, a little metal structure coming out the wall. That you can just go straight through that. You don't have to jump around it. And then onto this kind of glass, uh, grassy, flowery plateau, massive ledge. Right across the top of it. This is the actually the end of the first encounter. So you've bypassed the first encounter. But what you've got to do is you've got to load into the second encounter. You can see I've got the good old uh, obsolete but still trusty uh, mountain top. And I'm using that because I need to kill myself. But I need my salvation's grip on. You need salvation's grip on the warlock. I'm using top tree uh, domblade on the, the, the hunter. Obviously, line rampants with catapult would be good, and the hunter stompies with high mobility. I'm not going to be doing this on every character. Uh, I'm only going to be doing showing you this on the warlock because they all work the same way. Except, do not jump the way I'm jumping, and jump go onto this route and jump up onto here, jump up onto this this plateau here, and then if you time your jump right, you can jump right up on top here, and you're going to get a turning back. Run straight across to the left and drop down here and go into the second kind of gully 
and then walk up the wall. If you don't get the land, the loading zone, walk up the wall and you get the undergrowth loading zone. That's when you want to kill yourself. So make sure you've got a weapon that's not the, the salvation's grip that you can kill yourself with. Once you've killed yourself and you respawn, you will be underneath. You will be where the first chest is. So I'm not really going to hang about at the first chest because I think the second chest is probably the one that people might not have seen how to get very often. So the first chest, piece of cake, you just head over here and you'll see just in the distance, you'll see it more clearly when we get over there. There's a lift, you'll see it just going down there. That lift is right next to where the first chest is. Now I'm just going to bypass the first chest. We're going to go in and get see it. Show exactly where it is, but I'm not going to hang about there because we're just going to go straight to the second chest now. So this opening here, you see that chest? That's where the first chest is. So that what I do is, especially on the Warlock, Titan can do this. Hunter, eh, I think the Hunter can do this with high enough mobility. You make it over here and you see that red light up in the top corner? That is where you're heading to get out of here. So as I say, if you've never done this raid before, you will get the... The, mo the mods from it, you will get uh, the, the raid mods, but if you have beat this raid and you've had armor, you will get armor that, same with all the armor, Last Wish is the same, it's 1410, so it will last a long time, and you can get some spicy rolls out of these, it's 60 plus nearly every time, in fact I had a chest plate from Last Wish, which was 68, which I accidentally deleted, I'm still raging about that, so when you get into this area, this is the one that's probably the most difficult, you go through the center kind of channel all the way to the top. And then what we're going to do is we're going to use Salvation's Grip to climb the wall. Now, there are some places where you can land and it saves you a little bit of time. But basically, the Salvation's Grip is you're going to use it as platforms. So if you again, don't charge them, just fire them. And that allows you to jump above them, fire them below you and use them as a platform to basically to go up on. Now... What I will say about doing this is make sure when you're firing your Salvation's Grip, make sure that it's in far enough below you that you land down onto it. So when you get here, jump up to where I've, I've just went and then jump in here. Jump up here. And then we're going to use my Salvation's Grip. You see? Just fire it low enough, far enough below you that you can land on it. And then jump round to this kind of grassy kind of... Edge bit, you can jump up. You see that platform, that, that little ledge above you? Jump up here. And then what we're going to do is use Salvation's Grip to keep going up. Now, all we need to do now is, is make it to the top. I'm going to I'm gonna use this. Actually, I didn't need to use it. You see there's a little ledge there you can jump in on, just below where we've got the crystals. Now, you'll see here, I went right above and I tried to do another one, but you need to be able to land on top of the crystal and we've got one more crystal to fire again I've luckily I had this ledge here but you see what I mean you need to be you need to fire it low enough that you can uh, you can land on it and there we go uh, the second the first crystal I fired went but I had another crystal and then we jump straight up on top when you get up on top you're gonna get a turn and back you can jump over the turn and back you can do it on all characters and then, as you can see, you've got turning back, and then I jump above it. I jump above it here, and then just let myself fall and boost before I hit the floor, and we completely miss that. Now we're just going to head up to where the second chest is. As I say, I don't think that the Garden of Salvation chests are nearly as fruitful as DSC or Last Wish, but because it's all raid chests, I wanted to include this. So just head head over. Now we're in the jumping puzzle. This is kind of we we we've done like two parts of the gardens jumping puzzle. Just head round here, and then you're going to have these like windmill arms, these energy windmill arms that we've got to jump on. And that will take us up, and then we jump off onto the plateau, and then just head to the head to the chest. I'll sh obviously in the video I'll show you the location of the chest, but we're almost at the end, guys. We are very close to the end of the video, and I appreciate everybody that supported me since I've kind of made, I don't know if it's a triumphant, but it's definitely a positive return to YouTube. You guys have been killing it with the support. As I say, likes, comments, all the good stuff is always appreciated. If you do enjoy the content and you think other people will enjoy it, sharing it wouldn't, wouldn't be a bad idea as well, but only if you feel like it needs shared. As I say, when you land on this kind of windmill arm, you want to make sure that 
go right up to the top of the windmill arm and make sure the corner of it is in between your legs so that as you get higher, you, you transcend from being on the windmill arm to being on the top edge of it. Jump up here and head to the chest, and that is the video, guys. Thanks a lot for the support. I always appreciate every piece of support you guys give me. I hope this helps you guys get some stuff, especially the last wish. I would really prioritize DSC in the last wish. That stuff's going to come in so handy. If you don't have the anarchy, it's a lot of fun, uh, and this will help you get it. And obviously, go for that Apex Predator. Go for that uh, tracking, uh, auto-loading holster, and impact casing. It's more. It's it's going to be really good next season. Thanks a lot for watching the video, guys. Always appreciate you guys. And until the next one, take care out there.